What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Jeep 4 Outdoors. Today I'm just going to do a quick review of the Truxedo Century CT bed cover. Well as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel and I'm headed to the lake. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack. All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane. When I'm reeling in that buzzbait, it just seems to go away. Now you see Fishing ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls when I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass that are on my pole. Now for a minute or a Before we get started, I just want to go over some thoughts on why I went with this cover in itself. I do haul things in my bed, so I, I want I want my bed to be available. Uh, I considered doing a hard cover on here, but you're very limited on what you can carry with those. They open up to a, I don't know, a 45 degree angle, which you know, leaves you somewhere around here and you can't dump a load of dirt back there. You, ca you can't do anything like that. You can't haul a big, big piece of furniture. So that's why I went with a roll up style. Uh, you know, they have vinyl ones, they have aluminum ones. And recently they've started coming out with cloth material. And basically it's the same thing as what's well, canvas, the same as a convertible or a cloth top. And I, I really like the looks of this. It's a little bit cleaner. It's, uh, I don't know, I just kind of like the fabric. Uh, the, the vinyl leather has been around for a long time. There's nothing wrong with it. It's tried and true. The Sentry model here is very low slung. As you can see, I think that it only sticks up a quarter of an inch off of the bed, so it's really low profile. And uh, so on a lot of the Truxedos that they used to have, on top of the beds that were low profiles. You know, those things stuck up about an inch off of your bed because they had, on each side, they had ramps to where you could Velcro down the sides. Well, this one here, it Velcro, Velcro's down really nice here on the side, but it's not held down by Velcro. The only thing the Velcro is here for is to keep this thing from flapping around. This is actually locked into the bed sides by locks in channels. So let me show you that. So when I did get this, this did run me very close to $1,000 installed. Uh, you can go watch all the install videos you want. There's a ton of them out there, guys. Uh, but they offered me $50 just to install this. It saved me a half hour of the day. Any day of the week, I'll take that deal. But anyway, let's get in here and I'll show you how this operates real quick. So as you can see, it's super low slung right here. And right up under here is a cable, just like on any other model. This isn't gonna be much different than any other model, just subtle differences. And I, I will get into those because I there is a reason why I bought this. So uh, a little cable underneath here that you just pull out on that. And it rolls up really nice. Now let me show you just how easy this is to roll up. A lot of people on the reviews say it takes two people to do this properly, but it's not the case. Now, as you can see right here, there's going to be a cable right here. What this cable is doing right now is stretching out and it's actually unlocking other portions that are locked into this rail in here as it continues. As you can see right here and over there are other locks that are on each side of the bed. But as you can see, one person, I rolled that up, no problem at all. And it just as easily goes down like that and locks back into place. Now there is one thing that I, I don't know, it's a necessary evil on these kinds of bed covers is if you want to put your tailgate up, you have to undo your bed cover and then you have to lift your bed up. And the reason why I say it's a necessary evil is because this leather 
flap right here has to stay on top of your tailgate in order to keep this thing weatherproof. Now when it comes to weatherproofing, this is where I think that the Sentry model stands up above not all of the others, but some of the others and why I went with this. Now on the back flip models, I know that I've seen reviews of water penetration coming in through the corners right here and up on front. Now the Sentry model has a bigger uh, rubber flap here on the, on the back of your tailgate. So that's going to keep water from penetrating in through here. Uh, here on the corners, it's a lot tighter of a corner. There's not much of a gap. And you're going to have to direct water straight into that hole in order to get water into your bed to get leakage. So the back corners really aren't a problem. Let's go up to the front and look at this real quick. All right, coming back here to where most of the competitors and a lot of the other reviews, they're going to say that this is where all the water's coming in. Now, water doesn't really come right here all the time anyway, but this is a main talking point to where they talk about water penetrants all the time. Let's talk about this layer right here and why I went with this one particularly. First of all, you have the strap that covers the entire corner. If you can see back here, there's a rubber flap right here that lays over the whole front of the bed. If you lift this flap up a little bit, you have the mounting bracket right here. And sitting right underneath the mounting bracket is another piece of rubber right here. So we've got three layers of protection right here. You have the cover, the metal, two pieces of rubber. Actually, I'm gonna call this three pieces. Yeah, three pieces of rubber because there is another piece of rubber that's underneath all of this to keep all of this tight down to your bed. So there's a lot more securement right here. So like I say, I'm not gonna go into an extensive review on this. There's plenty of reviews out there. There's plenty of install videos on this. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I brought you a little bit more information than some other videos. Uh, I've only had this for a couple of weeks now, so don't take what I say for the gospel. Uh, I can't speak for longevity of this either. So that's just my initial review of this, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next one. I'm out. and guns.